Welcome everyone to the uh, Lagos webinar. I know it usually be called the BCV channel, but I am still the BCV host, Pastor Sacred Woods. But I'm excited tonight. I have my brother and friend, uh, brother Chauncey Allman, uh, from Lagos Bible Software. He will be uh, my guest and uh, presenter tonight. And so glad to have everyone here. Those who are just joining, welcome. Those who will be watching this uh, this presentation, uh, thank you as well. But also we do appreciate those who have decided to take time out of their busy schedule uh, to be a part of this webinar. You will not be disappointed uh, in joining us in tonight. And thank you to those of you who are in the chat. I see Kenneth, Nathan, Daniel, uh, Brother Proverbs, good to see uh, you there. Also, Sister Barbara. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Let me see anybody else. Okay. So, and of course, I got my brother James, uh, Sister Michelle, Brother Ken, Brother Nathan, of course, good to see everybody here and those who are watching also uh, in the background, don't want to show themselves because they're just getting off of work and, and everything. <laughs> so we understand how that goes. Mr. Dave, good to see you. Brother Dave Hart, good to see you. Welcome, everybody here. So listen, we don't want to, I don't want to take too much time with all of the, uh, the, the pleasantries and things of that nature. But I just wanted to say, again, uh, if, you are, if you are interested in knowing and, and studying the Word of God for yourself, listen, uh, we believe that the Word of God should be easy to understand and not just easily accessible, but easy to understand. And so as Christians, we have the Holy Spirit of God. We know that he is the, the ultimate teacher, but he has not left us here without helps and resources and support. And so uh, Logos Bible Software, I believe, is the best Bible software. I have been using uh, this Bible software for almost 24 years, uh, almost 24 years. And I was telling Chauncey, uh, I remember using the the disc, the, the CD-ROM uh, disc. That's how far back uh, it went, uh, having to load those bad boys up one by one, waiting for it to uh, to finish loading and then putting in the other one. I mean, it, it was a long it was a long process. If you know those of you, if you know in the chat, if you have that, if you had that before, put up a one in the chat. Those of you who are who on the on the uh, on the on the screen, you let me know as well, too. But listen again. Thank you all so much. For, for joining. And without any further ado, again, like I mentioned before, introduced to some, but also familiarized with others. Brother Chauncey, good to see you, man. Glad to have you here again on this webinar. Man, so glad to be here. You know, we've been talking about this for a while. And yeah. uh, I was a couple of hours ago, I was sitting around. I was like, OK, I'm, I'm, I'm ready because we, <laughs> we've been talking about this thing for a while. And so yeah. I'm glad that the day is finally here, man. Appreciate yes, you having me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So um, I wanted to just basically those who you, you are, are that are involved in in the uh, in this presentation. How many of you have Lagos Bible software? How many of you have whatever it's, if it's the free one, if it's the one that you have uh, that you have for your own um, resource of possession? Put up a one if you don't. Put up a two if you don't. I mean, put up a one if you do. Excuse me. Put up a two if you don't. And then put up a put up a one in the possible that probably after this stream, you're going to probably go ahead and just, you know, you're going to go ahead and just go ahead and get that thing. All right, so Miss Barbara said that she has it. Michelle says no. Nate says no. Proverbs says uh, no. Okay, so by the end of this 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 uh, webinar, I'm convinced. I believe that you're gonna walk away with something. Uh, you're walk away either with a desire to to get it very very soon, or you are not gonna wait anymore, wait any longer without any hesitation. You're gonna grab the the best uh, program that you uh, can afford, and so that is what we're here to do tonight. So. Again, uh, Brother Chauncey, again, thank you, man. I, I'm looking forward to you sharing and uh, presenting some of these uh, these new features that are on uh, Logos Bible software, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm excited to do it. And, um, you know, I, I get the pleasure of doing this for a living. You know, mm -hmm. you know, some some folks, you know, have a job and they they hate getting up and, and going out and doing it. And it's Sunday. It's, oh, you know, Monday's right around the corner. Man, I yeah, get yeah. up every single day because I get to show people not just to you know sell them something to be selling something mm -hmm. that's that's not what it's all about right. it's all about how can people get excited about the word of god right and that that's really what it comes down to so yeah that's why I'm, that's why i'm excited so man let, let's tell tell the audience a little bit about yourself man how, how did you become you know a, a a presenter i mean you you travel you know all over the country i'm not sure if you travel out, outside of the outside of the country but you travel a lot extensively so you know how did you become uh, uh, a part of the uh a part of lagos and and what made you uh do this to where as you just not it seems like this is a joy for you man so what mm -hmm. is it that makes this this thing about uh lagos uh and you being a presenter 
and being a part of that team so special? Yeah, and that's, that's a good question. It was, you know, a couple of years ago or several years ago, actually, probably around 2009, 2010, mm-hmm. uh, I found myself in a position where I was in between jobs. You know, it was 2009, you know, the economy had just tanked and a lot of companies were laying off. And I was one of those who had gotten laid off and where I was just applying for job after job mm-hmm. after job and just things just weren't happening. And I was just, you know, right. getting a little discouraged. And then one day I was online and I wish I could remember this part of the story. This is the <laughs> one part of the story I can't remember, but yeah. uh, I was online and I just happened to catch uh, a logos demo. You know, mm-hmm. it was like a quick little demo and I'm like, what is this? You know, never heard of it before. But yeah. as I watched that demo, I told my wife, I said, babe, I know, you know, I haven't been working for a while, mm-hmm. but, I don't care what we need to do. I don't know if we need to cut back and eat beans and franks for a little bit. I don't care. I got to get that software. I mean, yeah. that that is. And so I, I truly believe what the Lord had me doing was he said, hey, pull back on looking for this job, you know, 24 uh, seven, because that's what I was basically doing. Yeah. Yeah. I started spending half the day looking for a job, the other half in logos. Mm-hmm. And at that time, if you recall, 2009, 2010, that's where Christian hip hop, you know, started to right. kind of take off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And man, I was I was in logos and, and I actually got it, by the way. You had that payment plan, which we oh, still yeah. do. Oh, yeah. And I, <laughs> so I got that payment plan and uh, I just started digging in and I would listen to, you know, your Triplees, your Tadashi, Lecrae, Shylan, all those guys. And I'm like, wait a minute. You know, this is this is straight scripture. So I would like pause the CD because that's what it was at the time. Yeah, pause yeah, the CD. Yeah. Then I would go to Logos and look up the scripture and, and read about what they were rapping about. Mm-hmm. And then I would just go back and forth. And then before you know it, I was like, I was just in the word all day in, wow. in Logos all day. Wow. And yeah. then, man, just miraculously, one day out of the blue, I got a phone call from this company, uh, not Logos, this is before then, saying, hey, we heard about you. Can you come work for us? I had never applied for them. I never heard of them. So I really feel that the Lord was saying, hey, Let's let's go ahead and get you back to work. But I sat you down for a little bit to, right. you know, have you studied work. So fast forward real quick. Um, you might so put, that, I, you might put your, uh, your your mic on mute. If somebody I'm not sure who that is. I'll make sure. I can yeah, hear Johnson. I, go ahead. Okay. I, I got him. And okay. so uh, fast forward to uh, six years ago, man, I was looking for a new career opportunity. And by this time, bro, I'm on social media. I'm sharing mm-hmm. screenshots of logos. I'm like, you guys got to get this. This is the best thing ever. And so yeah. when I was in the process of looking for another job, my wife said, you know, man, nothing like a, a, a wise wife. She wow. said. All you do is talk about logos all the time. You ought to go work for them. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> and and as they say, the rest is history. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah. Um, there was a position available, a national presenter position. Okay. And so now my, my well, actually, I manage the team now, but except for special folks like, like Seiko, I'll get back into it and do it. <laughs> but uh, we travel the country and speaking at conferences across the country. Man. about logos i work with pastors all the time i get calls from pastors on saturday evening hey i got my sermon tomorrow can can you help me with my logos i got to get this sermon ready for tomorrow right and wow. who, who who wouldn't be excited about a job yeah like yeah that? you know so yeah. yeah that's so that's how it happened wow okay all right well like I said, you, you can look you ain't gotta sell me brother i already got <laughs> i already got mine you ain't gotta sell me brother i'm good <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you know, and speaking of that, bro, you know, um, y- you know, the story of how you and I met was actually yeah. online. And one of the things I appreciated then and still do is your commitment to scripture. You know, even like Brother James's hat, book, chapter and verse. Yeah. Uh, so maybe you can tell, you know, some folks who may be up here that may not know, you know, what you're all about. Why is this whole book, chapter, verse thing, you know, so important to you? Wow. So I would say for me, uh, it's not just a... Um, a lingo or a cliche. This is something that I really believe uh, that I, I strive to be committed to. So I know some people look at it as being intimidating, but I look at it as forcing the believer, challenging the believer to have a worldview that is biblical, that can be backed up by book, chapter and verse, because uh, my opinion is no better than anyone else's. But when we stand on the word of God, and let the word of God, like I say, also be the final authority, then you got to argue with God. You can't argue with me. And mm-hmm. so when I got introduced with with, uh, with Logos Bible Software, man, that really just that that set my study and my uh, desire for the Word of God to to another level. Man, I mean, I, I've never been the same, and I can't even re- remember how I even found out. I think I found out about it um, 
and we're talking about man 1999 early 2000s bro uh wow. this this is this is where you know like you say dealing with the, the 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 discs and um and and i when i when i saw the presentation i'm not sure if i saw it at a church but wherever i saw it man it it, it i i gotta get this and I, I remember going home to my wife and uh and, and running home to her to share and i said i said dear I said, yeah. I said, man, I can't explain it to you. I said, but there's this Bible program. Now she already looking at me like this, <laughs> you know, already like, okay, well, how much we gonna kick out this time? I mean, you know, you already I mean like because this this was her, this was her words. She said, you already got books. I like, yeah, I know, I got books, but I say, like, man, but this right here, I was like, can't wait, like this right here, this right here. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, this with man, this this program right here. I was like, yo, I said this. I said you don't. I said you won't have to ever worry about me having to get another book. I mean, I'm, I'm doing whatever I could. I'm, I was like almost like keys to wet. You know what I'm saying? I was like begging, bro. I was like, man, we gotta get this. And so we ended up uh, uh, going through the going like you said, going through the uh, the the plan, the, uh, the 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 subscription plan or whatever. Right. So. Uh, and so that again, that really, that really just, I'm telling you, man, I, I can't really explain it in, in any other way than to say, you know what, if you think you know how to study the word of God, Logos Bible Software, man, takes your study to a, to a whole different level. I mean, it Thanks. takes, it takes the time that you would take the effort to prepare. I mean, I got, I, I have books behind me, but I got, I got books and books and books in other, in my, in other rooms. And so now condense that down and put it into a program. You're talking about, man, and, and depends on the type of program you have. You're talking about like, man, 10,000, you know, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, maybe even sometimes $50,000 worth of worth of book mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In, in one in one program. And so. Um, so, yeah, for me, man, it, it just really helped me to uh, to memorize scripture, to prepare, you know, uh, and that's how I do my my live streams. You know, uh, when, when I when I pull up my screen. And I present the scriptures and things like that. And then I, I find people also, brother, uh, Chauncey, to see people in the comments saying, what program is that? What program is that? And I have okay. my moderator. Shout out to my moderators. Salute to my moderators. And some of them here, they'll say he's using Logos Bible software. You know what I'm saying? And right. so that also piques the interest for people to to also uh, get interested in knowing more about the program. So that's how that's how I got turned on to it. That's good. And yeah, you said it was back in uh, uh, floppy disk. I think you'll see sure. So somebody clowned you and said it was probably floppy disk, but uh, yeah, on the that. chat. <laughs> but he, he, he ain't got no love. 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 <laughs> and so that was a while ago. And for me, uh, you know, see, due to math, 2010 is 2024. So about 14 years into mm -hmm. it myself, and been yeah. with Logos for six years myself. Yeah. So, well, man, if 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 you're good, I say we I say we jump right on in. Yeah, if y'all ready, put up a one in the chat. I'm gonna get some interaction here with the, with the chat. Those who are watching, put up a one. Put up a one in the chat if everybody's ready to get this party started. Let's get this party started. Let's get this thing good, you know, off the road and start it. And so, yeah, let's get into it, brother. Let's handle, let's handle business. Let's start All right. Quick. Well, let's start with basically what it is first. Let me yes. hit you with two two points, okay. two things that to, to, to set it off. So when you get when you talk about using logos, when we talked about it, you know how much we love it. You're basically looking at two different things. You're mm -hmm. looking at the software itself, which is mm -hmm. the engine that runs the whole thing. And then you're looking at your library, the, your okay. books. Okay. So when you're when you're purchasing logos, you're getting a combination of the two. Right? And okay. so when we talk about how in depth it is and how great it is, the software is it's is, is tremendous. But the, the the other really big part is your library, how big or how extensive your yeah. library is. And the way we have them packaged up is such that no matter where you are in your study, we have a package that lines up with that. So in other words, if you're a pastor, we have a pastor's version. If yes, you sir. are working on your doctoral studies, let's say we have a doctoral version. If you're kind of new to the Bible and just starting out, you would need all those books that a pastor, let's say, or if you're in seminary, we have a version for that too. So we have it spread out so that no matter where you are, uh, it's a perfect match for where you are in your study. Right. So just want to state that. So um, so again, if you are a pastor, you should be on Diamond. Uh, that's that's the one we recommend. If you're a seminary student, we recommend that you are on the platinum version. And we'll talk about what all that means in a little bit later. But let's 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 jump on there. I want to make sure we understood. We got software and we have books. So let me go ahead and share my screen. And I have a feature up right now that's called the uh, the fact book. Now, the fact book 
is, and we jokingly say this because when, when usually when I do uh, the presentations and I yeah. go to you know different places, I'll usually start by asking this question. I say, where do you go to look up your theological information? And unfortunately, uh, Seiko, most people these days are saying they're going to Google for God their bless. theological information. Bless they they bless really are. And what I always tell people is, um, you know, Google is great. You know, if you want to get a recipe or, you know, you want directions or if you <laughs> want to see, you know, how well the cowboys are doing, you know, with, with, you know yeah. Google's your spot. <laughs> but when we talk about theological information, we, we recommend you don't use Google. Right. Somebody said wiki, you know, <laughs> um, Mickey Metric, Mickey Mugic, <laughs> Mickey Munich. That's so, right. In this fact book, and fact book came out in Logos 9. We're in Logos yeah. 10 now. Logos 9 was when the fact book was introduced. It's been wow. tremendously enhanced in Logos 10. So what I have on the screen is a fact book, and I typed in the word sanctification, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say someone may have just heard of that word, or you just want to do a deeper dive into sanctification. All you do is open up the fact book, and this is what pulls up. So I just typed it in, hit enter. This is what it is. So it starts off with the definition. And mm -hmm. then as I scroll down, it has what we say, what we call key articles. Right. So this is where Logos has gone and, and reached out to all of those books in my library and pulled information out about uh, sanctification all in one screen. Yeah. So we have, uh, you know, key articles of, you know, p key resources that it's pulled from further reading it has media. So if you want to, you know, look at some graphics, like if you're a preacher or a teacher, or if you just want to go on Facebook, let's say, and post some stuff, it gives you the graphics already. And here's the part that this is, this is where it starts getting really, really, really good key passages. Yeah. So oftentimes when we want to study a topic, you know, we don't know, you know, where to go. Even, even our Google centers out there, just, just kidding that go to go. It doesn't necessarily specifically call out all of those those passages for you. But in, in one tick click, Logos gives me all of the key passages in the Bible that deal with sanctification, right? I yeah. can click on it. It'll open up in my Bible. I can scroll down. It's going to give me the various senses of the word, gives me Bible dictionaries. So let me pause here. I said Logos has software and it has uh, books, your, your library. Right. Your library consists of books, commentaries, dictionaries encyclopedias uh language book you know lexicons commentary right. it has all of that so here all i have to do is click on any one of these and it'll give me uh, another definition based on my dictionaries uh entries from from logos theological journals yep. right man you yes, remember sir. uh i don't know how many guys are of age but back in the day when you used to do research you had to go to the library and you has, right. had to research journals and right. you had to go and put it under the, the microfiche i'm telling my age now Ooh. but you used to have to do all of that stuff and yeah, man, man. it would take forever to do that now man, all i do is click a button and it pulled up multiple theological journals on the topic of sanctification mm -hmm. all at the click of one button yeah now let's get down to sermons so oftentimes you may want to hear you know a preacher or a teacher preach or teach a sermon on a particular topic. Well, get this. So I'm in sanctification. I can click here on Charles Spurgeon, let's say, and it'll show me four sermons that Charles Spurgeon preached on the topic of sanctification. Yeah. All right here in my library. All I'll do is click it and, it, and it's yeah. automatically there. And then here's specific books in my library that talk about sanctification. So it automatically opened all of my books. Now, let me just be clear. I have the diamond version of Logos. I have um, over 9,000 books in my library. So it instantly pulled all of the books in my library that talk about sanctification. Uh, and when I say books, I mean like actual book actual reading books, books actual, right? Not just yeah. excerpts, but the right. actual book. Actual book, yeah. right? Yeah. So then as I scroll down, I get to a section called Dig Deeper. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's giving me a lot of definitions and journals and sermons and all that. Now it's saying, hey, do you want to dig even more deep into it? So I can click on what's called a topic study and logos will switch and my windows will open up so I can now do a full blown, even more in-depth study on the topic of, of sanctification. Mm -hmm. Then I can go down further. I have something called a workflow. And what a workflow is, is this the way I describe it is this. Y'all have Ikea in Houston? Say yeah. Go. Yes. OK, so if you you go to Ikea, right, you buy a, a bookshelf right? mm -hmm. and if you don't have those instructions, you're in trouble. Right. <laughs> you, you know, because they have it labeled, you know, the A piece, the B piece and these screws right. go with this. Right. I look at workflows similar to that in that 
if I click on, let's say, the b biblical topic study for workflow on sanctification, Logos is going to give me step one, do this, step two, do that, step three. So it's going to guide me step by step by step mm -hmm. on how to study a particular topic. In this case, it's a workflow. And then I have more related topics and so forth. So this is one feature in Logos called the, the, the fact book. And wow. you can get the fact book on your phone as well. So okay. if you have a, uh, you know, Android or, or, or iPhone, or whatever, and you have the Logos app on it, all you have to do is fact book, type a word, hit enter, get the same information. Mm. So that's the first one I wanted to show you is uh, okay. fact book. So okay. I would love to see in the chat what you guys think. Somebody says clutch. I would love yep. to hear your feedback as we go along. If you want me to go deeper into something in the chat, just let yeah. me know. But this is just one feature. I want to put up. I'm going to make a, a point. Also, if you have any questions so far, you don't have to wait to the end. You can put them in the, in the in the chat, so that way you won't lose your thought. Uh, leave a question in the chat, and uh, we'll definitely you know answer it uh, near the end of the presentation as well too. But Sister Christina, she says, "Wow," uh, <laughs> she says she says, "Wow," and uh, like you said, Brother Dan said, "That's clutch." So, yeah, but yeah, brother, you, you're definitely you're definitely cooking, bro. Let's get it. And so that's just one feature. It's just a fact book, right? So again, you you're listening to Brother Seiko. He's going to throw out a big word, let's say. Now, now he's going to do a good job of explaining what that means. But when that 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 YouTube or that Facebook Live is over and you want to go back and do some more information to study it a little deeper, you right. can go to the fact book. The next thing you can do and then, man, in, in, in an hour, it doesn't do it justice. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to hit a couple of them. I'm not even saying I'm hitting the most important ones. I just kind of randomly chose a couple because yeah. there's so many. But let's say you want it to now study a passage, right? You want to, you know, whether or not it's in church, you just left church on Sunday and the pastor was talking about a particular text or a certain text comes to mind and you have logos and you're like, okay, how can I study that particular text? So I'm in my home screen now and I'm looking over at the top left-hand corner. It's a little box and it says passage or topic. Right. So I'm going to type in a passage. I'm just going to do, I don't know, let's say Romans 8. Now I haven't clicked anything yet, but logos drop down a series of options. It's saying, okay, you, you typed in Romans 8. How do you want to study it? So it's giving mm -hmm. me all these different options. So you see under tools, it says fact book. So I can go back there if I wanted right. to. But it says open a passage study layout. I can open a Bible and a commentary. I can do some Bible journaling. I can do a study Bible layout. So it gives me a lot of different options. Even read aloud, Seiko. It, it will even read aloud to me yeah. the, the, the whole passage. So yeah. it'll even you know go that far. So let's go to let's do a passage study layout. That's that's one of my favorite ones. Same here. Yeah, yeah. Now, again, Look I type how in pretty Romans. Ideas, Look how pretty that is, y'all. Look how pretty that is. I just typed in Romans eight and click past the study layout. Now yes. this, this right here, we could, we could camp on here for the rest of the hour. We <laughs> yes, really sir. could. Yes, sir. Right. So yes, let me sir. show you what, what pulled up. Now I'm over here. If you see my cursor moving right over there where that green yeah. highlight is, I'm over there in that section, right? Yeah. So you see three tabs across the top. I have the CSB, the Christian standard Bible, the ESV and the legacy standard Bible. Now, why did those three pop? pop up well those just uh, you know i have the csb and the esv as my primary translations and then from time to time i'll pop in some other ones just to see the legacy standard bible is a newer one so i've been playing around with that for a little bit but whatever your preferred bible is you can set that up in preferences and those will pull up automatically too these are just the ones that i have right yeah. what's your favorite translation seiko by the way what's your go-to so I have the one that Jesus used. I have the uh, the New American Standard. And <laughs> I, I, why did I not know he was going to say that? <laughs> why did I not say that? <laughs> don't, 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 don't ask me how I know because he told me so. How about that? <laughs> you no, know, so it, it'll be the it'll be the NAS the ESV. That's my uh, that's my, my my two my two main primary sources. All right, I got you. I got you. Well, let you know. Let me let <laughs> Seiko feel at home and go ahead and add the new American standard. See how easy that was. Just yeah. that fast. I just clicked the button, added NASB, and and now I have it. So I'm linking these together. We'll study that in another section. But okay. what I just did was link it so that wherever I go in the Bible, all of my resources are going to follow with me. All Don't right? miss that, y'all. He just said because he's he's going to show y'all how that how that looks. 
in a minute. It, 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 it's amazing. So all of my resources now are all tied together. They're linked yeah. together so that if I'm looking at the CSB, let's say like I am, you see Romans 8. Let me go to ESV. There we go. Right there. I got the legacy standard right there. I have the NASB right there. And bro, one of the things that I know you probably talk about this on your uh, on your platforms as well is most people camp out with just one translation, which is which is cool. Mm -hmm. But, you know, most most, you know, seminaries or Bible study tools will tell you you should you should probably look at a couple of different translations to help you. If, if nothing else. Yeah. Two or three, at least to give you some additional insight as to what right. the text is saying. That's so right. you can see here just at the click of a button. I have four of them up right now at the same time. So I'm in Romans eight. Right. So therefore, there is now no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus because of the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from law, of sin and death. All right. You got that. So I pop over to another translation, see how that works. Right. But now look at the bottom, this window, this panel below that one. It opened up in this case, the Tony Evans study Bible. I just picked that because I have that in my number one preference mm -hmm. right now, but I could have had the ESV study Bible, the CSB study notes. Right. You know, so these are just the ones that ones that I put, put up here, but watch this as I'm scrolling through the text at the top, you That's see right. my commentary scrolling with me at the bottom. Yeah. Right. So that's one of the things that sets a program like a logos apart from some of the free Bible versions out mm -hmm. there. And I'm not saying just the free logos version. I'm talking because the free one will do this, too. But some of the other ones, I won't name them. I don't, don't want to disparage them. But some of the other free Bible apps out there, you don't get all of this compartmentalization. Right. where everything is all together. Whereas I can scroll through my Bible and my commentary follows along with me. So you never have to worry about losing your place. You can read at the top, scroll down at the bottom and everything is all in sync. Right. right. So let's say, though, I'm reading uh, verse eight and I get to a word like condemnation. And you're like, man, you know, I'm not as smart as Seiko. I don't know these words off the top of my head like he does. So how can I, you just told me don't go to Google. So right. how do I get a definition of a word like condemnation? Man, I'm going to show you how easy this is to get to a definition. So you Come see on. my cursor up here and move. I'm making yeah. juggling, make it big, right? Yes. I'm going to take my cursor. I'm going to rest it on the word condemnation. I want you to look on the right hand side of the screen, which All is right. called my information window. Okay. All I'm going to do is take my cursor and rest it on the word content. You see how it just changed. Yep. So what just happened by me putting my cursor on the word condemnation is that logos just opened up all of my Bible dictionaries, all of my encyclopedia, CDpedias, all of my Greek and Hebrew words. Uh, it opened them all up to the word condemnation. So all I have to do is pop over here. And now I have definitions. I have translations. I can see how other translations handle that word. I can get down here to the Greek because we're in, an, in the New Testament and right. we can rest my cursor on it. There's the Greek word for it. I can click this button. You probably couldn't hear that, but there's a speaker icon right here. So when I click that logos pronounces the Greek word for me. Right. So. Now, I don't have to, you know, I don't have to, you know, try to talk about, let's say, something like the word love and I mess around and call it a gate. Right. And that ain't right. You know, <laughs> that word is a copy. Right. So if right. you're studying, you at least want to be able to pronounce the words correctly. So all you have to do is click on it. Right. And it'll, it'll pronounce it for you. So even right. if you didn't go to seminary or anything like that, it'll help you with that. It, uh, Greek Strong's Concordance, all the information already. And how did I get that definition? I just rested my cursor on right. on that word. Right. So this is how we can read the text. We can look at our additional resources, our commentary, study Bibles, et cetera. I can get my definitions. I can get my my um, my Greek, my Hebrew, all of that from this screen. Right now, let's say, though, I'm reading Tony Evans study, study Bible. Hey, yeah. Put the mic up. Put the mic up. Can, can it? There we go. All right. Thank you. All right. So let, let's say um, I'm reading this commentary, this Tony Evans commentary, mm -hmm. and I find something that I find particularly interesting that I want to take out of my commentary and put it, let's say, in a Word document, because 
I'm preparing a, a, a Wednesday night Bible study or I'm doing a Bible study with my family and I want to have some notes. Right. So I want to take this information and put it, let's say, in, in word. So let's say I want to take this section right here. I'm just going to randomly select some text here. Okay. Select it. Right. And I'm going. So word pops up. Copy, study or share. I'm going to do copy. OK. And then I'm going to flip over to my oh, word no. document. Right. So I'm going to right click and paste it. All right. You see that. Right. Yep. Nobody. Nobody probably got excited about that because all I did was <laughs> copy and paste. Right. But watch this. When I scroll down, though, notice that logos automatically puts the footnote down yep. at the bottom. Right. So now logos, you must I mean, logos, uh, Seiko, you must have the Baptist or I don't know, because see, when I show that feature to the, the Pentecostal crowd, man, they is kicking and screaming. <laughs> they doing cartwheels. This must be the subdued reform. Yeah, group. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't know. Or maybe because their mics are on mute or their cameras are off. There, but, <laughs> but bro, I'm saying if you have ever had to cite a reference before oh, yeah. or bro, you know how much time that takes. Right. And all I did was copy and paste and it's automatically here. So. Right. If, if I'm doing this Bible study or if I'm putting together some YouTube information like mm -hmm. Bro Seiko, or if again, I'm doing my home study and I take my information from Logos and put it in a Word document, bro, I already know where I got it from. I don't have to right. search for it. And I can always go back to it. Right. So that's the, the copy and paste feature of Logos. So we're like a tenth of the way through the passage study layout. So mm -hmm. let me pause if I could see if we have any... Um, any questions or anything like that before I go to the rest of it on the pastor study layout? You, you did have a question. I'm not sure if you wanted to answer it in, in this in this segment. Uh, but Dan had a question regarding the resources and, and it, are they geared toward a particular theological stance? Good question. Yeah. So we have uh, I mentioned earlier, we have different types of you know, wherever you are in your study, you know, I said we got one for dime uh, for pastors. We have one for if you're in seminary and all that. But we also have denominational versions. Come on. So if you are solid on or not solid, I would say <laughs> stuck, let's say on, let's say you reform, mm -hmm. you can get the Logos 10 reformed diamond or the Logos 10 reform platinum or you can get the Logos 10 Baptist. Or you can get, um, you know, Pentecostal charismatic. So, yes, we do have uh, specific denominational versions of logos, but we also have the standard, which is what most people get. And that would be if I had to put a label on it, that would kind of be more the non-denominational. But I would say it does lean a little bit more towards the Reformed and Baptist with the standard. And that's what most people get. Mm -hmm. um, but we get some people in that are just hardcore Baptists and that's all they want. So all their right. resources are more on the Baptist side. Right. That's a good. So question. That was a good question. Really good question. Um, let me see if I can hit Daniel Brown's question and that question, but comment just real quick. Um, he was, talking is that danielle or daniel that's daniel, daniel. okay yeah. uh he was asking about the style the, the citation so yeah. notice i went to my program settings right and here's the citation style so watch this here are all of the different citation styles that we have so it looks like daniel said apa7 so okay mm -hmm. apa 7th edition boom there it is so now whenever i do a copy and paste it's going to put it in that citation style of apa7 so if you are in school you just the professor tells you what the citation style is. You come to the uh, settings, make the change and it's done. So mm -hmm. Daniel hadn't responded yet. He's probably picking his mouth up off the floor right, right now. Yep. So that's right. Well, I can't believe I wasted all this time trying. To <laughs> <laughs> and you telling me all I had to do is copy and paste. And it's all right there. Like I could I could have met Seiko 10 years ago. We would have been good. <laughs> yeah, brother. <laughs> yeah. Any other uh, questions out there? Any other I thoughts? Think any that's other comments? It so far, uh, anybody? Else? But again, y'all want to put, leave your questions in the comments. We'll definitely get them as we go through the presentation. But but we we're good, man. Let's keep you good. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. So I'm gonna look on the left hand side now. So when you get logos, I mentioned you get books, you get commentaries, and all that. If you get the pastor's version of logos, I know not everyone on the call is a pastor, but I'm just using that as a as a as a uh, as an example. Yeah. With the diamond version. There are. Well, let me put it this way. So okay, if you had to guess, how many commentaries do you think most people use on a day to day basis? On an average, most the, the average person, you talking about, uh, the, you talking about pastor or just the average lay person? A, the average lay person. 
Probably one. One? Maybe, okay. Maybe two on a on a on a on a on a you know good day, but probably you know one to two. One or two. Yeah. If you had to guess in terms of pastors, what would you say? Uh, I would probably say the pastor worth their salt probably be like mm, five, five to six. Five. With the diamond version, the pastor's version of logos, you get 680 commentaries. Come on. 680. Come on. Okay. Three digits. And so, yeah, three digits, right? <laughs> 680. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and so, obviously, the question is, if you use one or two for mm -hmm. a lay person mm -hmm. or four to five, six, seven, eight, let's say for a pastor mm -hmm. and you have 680, you're like, how do I know where to go? You know, what, how do I find what I'm looking for? Right. Well, over here, I'm, and I'm still, so say, Cole, I'm still in one feature, right? I'm still in the pastor study layout. That's, I haven't deviated one bit. Gotcha. So I'm over here on the top left under the commentary section. So it's asking me, okay, how do you want to, look up commentaries you know which what do you want to go to the first option here is priority mm -hmm. that means i've told logos in the settings I, I like this one i like this one next i like this one third and you can set them up however you want and then logos right. will give you recommendations on commentaries based on what you're studying gotcha. so that's the priority section now i click on series now logos takes all of my commentary series sets and puts them all together. And once I want to see them, you know, I can click on the drop down arrow or I can click it and it'll open up in another window. Mm -hmm. Another way is author. So you listen to, let's say, Brother Seiko's uh, uh, YouTube channel or Facebook. And he's like, hey, you know, I recommend you go get this commentary by X, Y, Z person. All you have to do is come by author and it's sorted by alphabetical order. And then you can find that commentary you want. All right. So yeah. let's say Mark Bailey as an example. So here it is. Mark Bailey's New Testament or Nelson's New Testament survey of Romans eight. Mm -hmm. I click it. You see it opened up right here on the bottom again on the right hand side. Yep. Yep. Automatically open up to Romans eight because it knows that's what we're studying. Right. You can search it by author. How about denomination? And you if you want to look at just your Baptist commentaries, you click Baptist. If you want your Anglican or your Lutheran, your Methodist, your Pentecostal, your Reformed or what have you, all you have to do is click the arrow and there's all of your commentaries based on denomination. Again, you could click on it. I would click on MacArthur, but I'm not trying to start nothing with Bruce Seiko right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have said that. I, I know, ladies and gentlemen, it wasn't me. I, I know y'all waiting for me to say something. It was not me. Let the record reflect and show it was the presenter. But go ahead. I'm sorry. I, I take that. We, we, we should edit that out, should we? Uh, how about <laughs> how about the Spurgeon Study Bible notes? Right. Yeah, so you yeah. That, there you go. You can click it and it opens up. So that's by denomination. I mm. also search by type. Because, you know, there's many different types of commentaries. Yeah. So I can do devotional commentaries. I can do exegetical commentaries. Mm. I can do expositional yeah. commentaries. Yeah. I can do homiletic commentaries. I can do study Bibles. And again, all I have to do is click the arrow. It gives me a preview. I can read right. it or I can click it and then it opens up in that window. Yeah. And this is the, the, the amount of time that this thing has saved. And so now it takes that. 680, like Proverbs said, Proverbs 17, 11 in the chat says 680 yeah. the exclamation point. Yeah. Now it takes that 680 and it makes it so much more palatable because Logos does the work for you. It searches them for you. Right. right. Now that's type. Let's go to era. Right. So now we really get deep. So now Logos mm -hmm. has separated your commentaries based on when they were written. So I have the contemporary era, 1960 to the present. I click that. There we go. My modern era, 1700s to 1959, right there. Reformation era, 1517 to 1699. So now some people say, well, why, why is that important? Well, you can look at a commentary or read a commentary and see how the commentator handled that particular text. Right. Let's say Reformation era compared right. to the modern era. And now you got a good contrast, you know, compare and contrast of schools of thought and how they right. handled the text you know, then and, and now, so to speak. Right. So that's the commentary feature. Now I'm just, I'm, I'm going to breeze through the rest of this piece because okay. it's, so, it's so much. It is. So again, all I did, I went to the top, I typed in Romans 8, clicked the button, all of this information opened up by itself. Right. We, we looked at the commentaries on the left. So here we go. Parallel passages already right here for you. All you do is click on them. They're already done. 
I'm scrolling down all of my cross references all right here. Do you see these in blue? I, they're hyperlinked. All I do is rest my cursor on it. And there is the, the cross reference right there. Now I get important passages. Now we're studying the passage we're doing Romans eight. Let's say in this example, logos has combed through all of the books of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's kind of like an algorithm, if you will. And it says out of the, all of the texts in the Bible, mm -hmm. We recommend that you read these to help you in your understanding of Romans eight and it's called important passages. So it's listed here in order of importance based on how the program is set it up. Genesis four, six, Psalm 44, 22, and so on. Then as I scroll down to the next section, I get to a section called important words. So now someone's studying the text. They're not sure, you know, what words should I focus in on? You know, I'm kind of new to the Bible. Or if you're experienced, you're like, okay, what are the most important ones? Well, it lists those in order of importance. So it says here in Romans eight, the spirit. So now I can click on that and it gives me all the instances and you see them highlighted of the word spirit used in Romans eight. Right. right. And it does the Greek and Hebrew pronunciation, all that, too. Now, keep going down. I have Atlas. I have biblical places. I have biblical people. I have images of what these folks may have looked like. This is where we also can get into genealogy. So it'll also give you family trees and, you know, who who the daddy was, who the mama was, who great uh -huh. grandma. It gives you all that information. Yeah biblical things. So here are the physical things that are involved And these images. You own these so you can copy and paste, put it in a PowerPoint or however you want to do it. Now, that's a physical thing. So we did person, place, thing, uh, literary typing, figurative language, yeah. right? Cultural concepts. And bro, you know, this is super important, right? Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah. we can get into a lot of trouble, as you know, if we try to put a put a lens of the year 2024 on a text that was written thousands of year, years ago. Right. So Logos will help you understand what the, the culture was like at that time. Right. So you can look at it from the lens of the, how the author uh, intended it. So right. that's the cultural concept section, ancient literature. Um, so you have books that are outside of the Bible, extra biblical books that will help you understand the culture and the times as well. There's Dead Sea Scrolls information. I'm just scrolling down, bro. Yeah, Biblical yeah, theologies, confessional documents, more sermons, um, sermon outlines. I have logos sermons. Logos, let me camp here for a sec. Sure. When you have logos and let's say you create a sermon in logos because you can do that. Yeah. And you have your sermons. It has the graphics. It has, you know, all of the information that goes into a sermon. So people voluntarily upload their sermons into Logos. So now when you're when you're doing your study of Romans eight, let's say you can find and see how others who use Logos, other pastors, let's say how they've handled the text. Now, we can't guarantee how accurate and all that, but it will give you the option of seeing how other people ha have handled the text. Yeah. Various themes. Uh, topics, more illustrations, um, music, bro. Logos even gives you music, bro. I don't even know if you knew this, Seiko. Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, you remember this one? Logos will even find songs in which the content of the lyrics match the text that you're studying. That's right. It even has sheet music, so you can click this and give it to your 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 praise and worship team or whatever. Now they can learn how to play it. You can even click a button and start playing the song for you. Right. So Logos was really showing off on that one. And, and it's just many more. It just goes on and on and on. And that is the passage study layout. And all I did was type in Romans 8, click a button, all this information pulled up. And all of this is just one feature in Logos. And I was going to say, and it was, I was just going to add another thing. It cuts off on so much time that you yeah. would take. You, you, you couldn't even exhaust all of this information just off of that one passage. You're talking about hours upon hours of trying to just go through every single, every single thing. Just like you said, just in that in that one passage, man. And then and, and so log out state, they take it and they 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 condense it and make it as easy and user friendly as possible. Yeah, so, so quick, man. And and, and so I agree with you 100 percent because it takes uh time off of you trying to find the information mm -hmm. and gives you more time to actually study the information yeah right? because as you know when you're studying half the battle is just finding the information yeah man and now you found it now you got to study it well we've done this and i'm just i'm gonna show you how quick because i don't know if people caught this so i'm gonna do this again i'm gonna pick another i'm gonna just do a, a random text okay. x 
X5, let's say, right? So I want you to see how quick. So again, I have 9,000 books in my library and I'm going to click the uh, pastor study layout again. Watch how quickly Logos pulls together all the information I need on Acts 5. So I click the button and bam, there it is. So Less all of what seconds. you just saw Less was just done seconds. that fast. OK, so now you can spend more time studying the text and as opposed to actually having to find the information. Right. So. Any questions on that? That so uh, far, any addition see, so yeah. Uh, someone had asked. Okay, uh, Proverbs said, "Is it a lifetime license?" Good question. It is. So once you purchase logos, um, you, you heard me mention the monthly payment plan. I think um, uh, Brother Seiko got permission from uh, Sister Sharon to get uh, <laughs> logos back in the day. Yeah, uh, and, and I think they did a payment plan as well. Yep. Yep. So when we say payment plan. That means you it's like a car payment. You pay right. for a certain number of months until it's paid off and then it's yours. So you right. own the license. Now, you can knock it out in one payment if you yeah. want to. But, yes, it's a it's a lifetime license. Yes. Good question. Good. Good. OK, uh, so let, let me ask you this. So um, we talk about we haven't talked about money. So mm -hmm. we, hear, we hear sometimes uh, in, in, in Bible studies or in presentations where especially what Jesus talks about, you know, the, the, the talents of Nerea. All right. Jekylls in the Old Testament. So what does Logos have about, you know, about those kinds of things or any things like dealing with weights and measures or, you know, those types of uh, features? Does Logos present in that? Yeah, and it's funny you ask that because uh, and I'm raising both my hands guilty on this bef <laughs> be before Logos. And I'll get to a text, man. It'll say like talents and shekels and yeah. denarii man, i don't know what that is man. i don't use that in my everyday language i don't know what a denarii is you know it sounds like right. a, a a car you know in there den exactly. denali sound like a denali but yeah, i don't know yeah. what that is right and so w we have several features in logos that's called like an interactive media uh mm -hmm. feature we have several of those okay. and it's funny you mentioned weights and measures because that's one of them so I'm going to go to um, I'm going to go to tools here and I want to show the weights and measures one so we can now yeah. stop skipping it like most of us have That's been it. doing. You right? know, come on. So come I'm on. in the in interactive media. So there's several of them, as you can see. Mm -hmm. But I want to get down to the weights and measures converter. So I'm going to click that and let me make this a little bit bigger. So this it popped up on my other screen. Let me bring it back over. OK, so here's a chart. Helpful. Don't get me wrong. Helpful. But that's not the beauty of the weights and measures interactive. Right. Yeah. So I'm reading a text. Right. And the text says something about a cubit. Right. right. So let me ask this in the chat. I want to I want to humor me, folks, in the chat. <laughs> humor me with this without cheating and without going to Google. If I said how long would 100 cubits be in length? If you had to take a guess, if you could put it in the chat, just take a guess. Be honest. Just get guess 100 cubits. If you had to guess how long it is, first thing that comes to mind, first mm -hmm. thing that comes to mind, somebody say, I don't know. Good. Good answer. 100 cubits. If you had to guess, somebody said 300 feet. Nathan did. OK. Give me one more guess. One more guess. 301 feet. <laughs> 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 well, you got somebody shout out, do you, man? Go get yeah. get the, price, the price is right. It's, I say price is right. That's right. <laughs> you got me up here, Bob Barker up in here. That's it. All right. Okay. So the somebody said 400, 400 feet. feet. Yeah. All right. So we range from 300 to 400 feet to uh, I'm not sure. All right. Okay. So watch this. With the with the weights and measures converter, I'm going to do 100 CUB, and it's going to fill in the rest, 100 cubits. I click it. It said, not only does it tell me how long, but it gives me a, a picture of it. It's about 10 and a half cars lined up. It's about four city buses, about three and a half humpback whales, two semi trucks, or about the size of an airline jet. So, man, so now you don't have to guess anymore. It's like 158.3 feet, by the way, for those who guess. So, y'all about a little on the <laughs> longer side, right? 158.3 yeah. feet. So now, but if I'm reading a text and it tells me a hundred, um, uh, uh, hundred cubits, and I don't know, now I go, I pop in here, put that in. Now I go back to the text, and now when I read it, I'm like, oh man, that's that's about the size of a jet, you know. So that's that's that makes a makes it a whole lot easier yeah. when we, you know, when we have to, you know, read stuff and really understand it, and not just 
try to figure it out. We don't have to just figure it out anymore. Yeah. We can Let we me, can so, actually so, do so, it. So I, I was going to ask this question, but Proverbs beat me to it. How many cubits was Noah's Ark? So I pulled it up on this on the description in Genesis 6 15. So okay. you have you have uh, the length of the Ark is 300 cubits. OK, let's see that. 300 cubits. OK, yeah. Let me know you when you get that part in there. 300 cubits. The breadth is 50 cubits. All right. So this is 300. So 300 cubits is a little less than three Boeing 757 airline jets mm -hmm. or about half of a tower bridge. OK, so that's that's, okay. that's the length. OK, so the breadth 50 cubits. 50 cubits, C-U-B, cubits. Uh, so about two buses or two humpback whales or about one semi-truck. Okay. And the uh, height is 30 cubits. All right. So 30 cubits high. All right. More than one city bus, three mid-sized sedans, one humpback whale, less than one semi-truck. Bro, you, what, you just, what we just walked through we hear Noah's Ark all the time. Right. But when you put numbers like this in and get the actual picture of it, that thing was huge. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was huge. So that's the beauty of having a tool like this where it can, you know, make things easier for you to understand. And this now is you go landed back. on top of Mount Ararat, which is in Turkey. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? That's where it was. That's where it is. There we, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and what was that? What was that feature? That That's was a, called the. Oh, I'm sorry. Measures, weights and measures. Oh, are they, what is it? Weights and measures. No tools. I'm yep. sorry. Yeah, it's weights, weights and in, in yeah, tools. Weights and measures. Mm -hmm. yeah. In tools. In tools. Okay. In yeah. tools. Weights and measures converter. Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, now Nick let's look at. Oh, he what's said, that? How do you, you keep this as part of the layout, or can you? Man, he just teed me up for the next section. Okay, like, there you go. Come on. <laughs> he just is he in, a, is he in your nose, brother? Is he he must nose? be. He must is be he in my a, nose. Did you meet with him or something? <laughs> he must be. Jeez. So the question is dealing with layouts. And that's actually the next thing I wanted to talk about. So when you saw the passage study layout where it had the commentaries and the Bibles, that's called a layout. In other words, how is the screen laid out to help you study the Bible? And so there's multiple... Uh, layouts that are by default out of the box. And then you can also customize your own layout so it will look the same every time you go into it. Mm -hmm. So Nathan, if you wanted to have, let's say, the weights and measures converter as part of your layout, you could add it and then you can save it. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Um, but first, let's look at the out of the box pre-done layouts, if you will. So I'm over here in the bottom left. You can see my cursor moving mm -hmm. in the bottom left. Over here, it says layouts. So I click that and at the top here, from top to bottom, you see what's called quick start layout. So these are the ones that are already out of the box. Underneath that are my save layout. So these are all of the ones that I've created and I saved and they're in alphabetical order. But let's say I just want, man, I just want a Bible and a commentary because all that other stuff was great. But at this time today mm -hmm. or tomorrow, I just want a Bible and a commentary. So all I do is click Bible and commentary and boom, there it is. I got the CSB on the right, on the left, rather, uh, my commentary on the right. right. And and yes, it does sync. You know, as I scroll and read, you can see it moving on the right hand side. So that is the Bible and commentary layout. So let's go to layouts again. Let's click another one. Now, let's say you want to do some Bible journaling. All right. So you with journaling, you typically have your Bible open. Of course, you have a highlighter. Then you also probably have some type of note taking program so that you can uh, take notes with. So Logos is smart enough to know that that's those are the main components of Bible journaling. So when I click Bible journaling, watch this. Logos gives me on the left hand side all of my highlighter options. It gives me the Bible. And on the right, it gives me the notes feature in Logos. Mm -hmm. So let's say I'm reading. Uh, I'm in Acts 5 right now. So let's say I want to highlight this. I'm in church or whatever. I'm on my mobile device. I want to highlight this. So now I, choose, I select my text. I go over here on the left hand side. And if I want that to have a blue foreground, let's say I click that. And there you go. Now it's highlighted. And then if I want to go and take some notes, I click new notes and you can see me on the right hand side. I'm just typing right. in some random letters here. So right. that's how you can do your Bible journaling, your, your highlighter, 
your bi your Bible and your your notes. Right. All right. So let me do let me do one more. Sure. So I'm gonna do layouts, and let's say I want to do a. Let's say I want to do a topic study. Okay. So I click that. Now Logos is going to rearrange my layout so that it helps me do a topic study on whatever I want to study. Mm -hmm. So it gives me the fact book, which we just talked about, and it go gives me the topic guide. I click that. It gives me the sermon starter guide. So anything that anyone who maybe wants to write a sermon or create a lesson, it gives me the sermon starter guide. And then it gives me the Bible word study section. So now it, it gives me my Greek and Hebrew so I can study that. And then on the right hand side, it gives me the Bible. And on the bottom, look at all these commentaries that are automatically right. pulled up for me. This right. is straight out of the box. And all I somebody say is slices and dices. So <laughs> all I had to do was choose a topic study layout and all yeah. of this automatically came out or, or, or opened up. So yeah. I'm going to go back and answer. Um, I think it was Daniel's question. Some, someone, Nathan, I think Nathan asked the question about how do you want to keep if you want to keep it as part of your layout. Right. So I'm going to go back to tools and pull up that weights and measures converter. All right. You see how I pulled it up in the bottom right hand corner right here. All right. Over here. And let me do your your 30 cubits as an example so you can see the, the pictures. There it is. So now if I close this out and come back tomorrow, it's going to be gone. So yeah. what I want to do is I want to save this as a as a save layout. So I'm going to click layouts, click save it as a name layout so I can do that. And I'm going to call this layout Seiko, S-A-I-K-O, just as an example. Hit enter. And now you see it over here in alphabetical order. Let me scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, get to the S's. And they got Seiko. You see that got Seiko layout. So now whenever I launch logos and I want this thing to look just like I have it saved right here, I can I can do that. And so um, one of the things I get asked a lot is if I share this with a spouse and because you can share your logos with a spouse, you can't share your login with your buddy. I mean, that's between yeah. you and the Lord. But uh, legally, you can share it with your spouse. <laughs> and I get asked all the time, well, how do I know which stuff is mine and which stuff mm -hmm. is my wife's and how do we keep all that straight? Well, the suggestion I have is save your layout however you want it. Mm -hmm. Name it whatever you want to name it. And then when you go into to logos, you just open up whichever one, you know, you that that's yours. So okay. as an example, I'm going to add the ESV up here. OK, so now I have the ESV, the CSV. I have my weights and measures down at the bottom. Now, this is Sister Sharon's layout as an example. So I'm going to go yeah. here, save name, save, save layout. And I'm going to do Sharon Woods hit enter. Right. And so now she has her own save layout. We got the Seiko layout. Now watch this. I'm going to go to the home page. So right. this is how it looks when you first open up logos. Right. So right. I have some some tabs across mm -hmm. the top. I have my prayer journal, my devotional, my reading plan. But let's say I want to add my save layout here so that when I come in or let's say mm -hmm. Sister Sharon wants to come in and go straight to her layout. I'm going to add this layout. So I'm going to add my plus sign. Click layout. I'm going to scroll down. And get to my S's and where is it? There we go. Sharon Woods. I want to add that. And I want to add Seiko. So we add that plus sign. I'm going to click add. And then boom, there we go. So whenever you open up logos, if, if Sister Woods wants to open up her layout that she saved, she just clicks that. And then everything switches and open up to opens up to how she has it. And then say, cool, if you wanted to do your and you can have as many of these save layouts as you yeah. want. It could be my Easter study. It could be my personal study. It can be the women's Bible study or whatever it is. And you can save those layouts and then you can click them on the home page. And then there you go. Cool. I got a uh, Hispanic question that says, does it have the option to change the language? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Oh, let me let me let me <laughs> let me show you a little something there. This is new to Logos 10 for anyone that has an older version of Logos. You don't have oh, this. So you got to upgrade to 10 to get this. Come All on. right. So I'm going to go to Bible. Just got a Bible up. Right. Got the CSB. Yeah. Watch this new feature. So take I don't know if you've seen this. So this is a feature. Uh, I'm going to open my sidebar. OK, I do that. 
I get a translate button right here. You see that right here? It says translate. Uh, yeah. So what's happening is, and my internet's a little bit slow, but what's going to happen is it's going to give me the option of a click a drop down arrow. Okay. And it's going to say, what language do you want to see this text in? Gotcha. You want you want German, you want French, you want Arabic, you want and I, it's like I forgot how many languages gotcha. languages it is, but it's a whole lot. So my internet must be. So this is this is this is the this is the true version of tongues. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> there it is. And so watch this when I click the arrow. Look at all the different languages. They're in alphabetical mm -hmm. order. I'm just going to look at it. all these different, That's crazy, all these different languages. So someone said something about Spanish. Is that what I heard? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. OK, yeah. so let me just scroll down to the S's and I'll go to Spanish and boom, there it is in Spanish. And I can select my copy button right here. Go copy. And let me let me let me go back to uh, my Word document here for a okay. sec. <clears throat> and then let me go enter. There was a text I'd done before. And let me do. Oops. Sorry. Click the wrong button. Go here to paste. And there it is. Mm -hmm. you, so so now you create your lesson in Spanish. Now wow. you can print this or email it out. And wow. it's already done. So Logos all does all the translation for it. Man. man. Y'all, y'all, y'all asking some, some great questions, y'all. Keep those questions coming. I mean, y'all, y'all interacting. We definitely appreciate that. And uh, you come up with some great, excellent questions. Awesome questions. So um, at this time, bro, I just want to pause, see if we have any other ones. And uh, we're what, 807? So we got about 15 minutes or yeah, so yeah, to yeah, go. We, yeah, we got a few minutes. So I, I was going to ask you this. So, I mean, you, you kind of like dealt with dealt with the, the, the different languages and stuff. Um, what about people who will say, you know, um, I, I, you know, people, I don't know Greek and Hebrew, but I want to learn it. Or, you know, how does the Bible, does this app or does this program have, you know, interlinear or, you know, because some people downplay, you know, those who don't know the languages, but they have the tools to know it. So how, how does Lagos help people with that? They want to get a basic understanding of just wanting to, you know, study the languages as best they can. No, good, good, good question. And so I have my Bible open and and, and you can see the Greek letters up yep. here. And as I hover over, you can see the word in linear is popped up. Yep. And so all I have to do is click this drop down arrow and I can add whatever in the linears I want. Right. So mm -hmm. I can do a, a, a reverse in linear, uh, just dilemma. See, all that information is all right here. And all, all I right. did was turn the feature on. As I'm and as I'm reading the text, it's gonna I can layer it on top of each other wow. a lot of different ways. So that's 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 one way you can do it. So let me let me turn these off just for a second. Okay. That's one thing. And another way you can do if you want to look up a word, remember I did the hover thing and it yeah. and it popped up and did the language. So there's another way you can do it too, and I'm sure you how to do it. So let's say we want to uh let's say verse 13 if a mar man marries a woman has sexual relations so let's look at this word relations for a second i'm gonna because that word as you know it can mean a whole lot of different things relations right. you know can, we're friends or right. you know, here it, it means something different so i right. right clicked on it and look at my options all of these options uh, as to how i can study that word relations but i want to do a bible word study mm -hmm. so i click that and logos pops open my mm -hmm. Greek or Hebrew study of the word relations. So it tells me it's a noun. Uh, so here it is the Hebrew words right here. And it tells me in Hebrew in the CSB, that word is, is used 154 times gotcha. in the CSB. Greek is used 17 times here. Are the senses and so different forms of that word. So as a verb to be or become attached to another person socially, implying a very close friendship relationship or affection so it gives me all the instances of the bible in in which that word relations means that yeah right and then uh and you just keep clicking here until until you've done a complete word study on this word um right. relations right so now let me go up a little bit so it gives me all of the the different uh senses of the word so you see this big blue line here that's saying that means it's used as a brother blood relation a companion or a fellow that's what this section is and i can right. click that that expands out we right. see all these these slivers of colors mm -hmm. 
all of those are different words or different ways rather that that word is used. And so all you have to do is hover on it and it'll tell you how that word is used in the Bible and gives you a complete definition of all of that. And all you have to do is click it and it pops out and all of the instances of that word show right up down here at the bottom. Yeah. So uh, if you've never gone to seminary, most of us have not, I would assume. But even if you have, and it, it gives you all of this information at the click of a button. And so yeah. all of this reading words out of context and all, right. it, it eliminates all of that in just at the click of a button. So that was a great question. So that, that leaves no one with, that leaves everyone without excuse. So there's no reason for anyone to be to be biblically illiterate or ignorant uh, of the of the scriptures. If they want to know the word of God, there's ways of knowing it. And a lot Absolutely. Of Absolutely. Well, Seiko, you want to? Um, I know we had a couple of topics we were going to talk about. Um, looking at the time here, you yeah, want to yeah, um, okay. maybe top in on top, go in on one of those topics. And let's see let's, put, let's put, talk put. about. Let's talk about, man. Uh, this has been this has been a topic that has come up. You know, let's talk about the Trinity. Uh, what does what 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 references does does you know Lagos use for for Trinity? If you want to do a study on on the doctrine of the Trinity, you know, uh, as that being an essential doctrine for Christians, how how would you know how would Lagos use that? uh as a tool how can you okay all right so we can put into practice all that we just talked about right okay. so we're talking about the trinity and I mean, there's a couple of different ways we can do it i'm going to start with the fact book remember i was saying that's the the substitute for google if you yeah. will we did yeah. sanctification so i'm just going to type in trinity and uh i haven't clicked anything yet so it's telling mm -hmm. me it's asking me rather you want to look at it from a preaching theme you want to look at the concept you want to look at from a systematic theology standpoint. Um, so all of these options here. And so I'm going to just go with the concept, the concept yep. do the concept yep. of, of training. So it says a description of the God of Christian scripture revealed and understood as father, son, and Holy spirit, a fundamental doctrine of Christian theology. Fundamental. So we, fundamental. We start right there, right off the top. It tells wow. it's fundamental. Let my so boy say right off the dribble. <laughs> right off the dribble. Yeah, right off the dribble. Yeah. Right off the dribble. <laughs> and so now it's it's searching my key articles, and mm -hmm. it says first one: a description of the God of Christian Scripture revealed mm -hmm. and understood as Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Fundamental doctrine. We read that yeah, yeah, introduction. Yeah. The word Trinity does not appear in the Bible. However, the doctrine is based on several emphatic on. assertions that are found throughout biblical writings. Emphatic colon. Here we go. There's only one God. Here are all the scriptures that support the Trinity. Come on. They're all right here. Number two, the one who G whom Jesus called Father, the incarnate Son, the, and the Holy Spirit. So it breaks it down all right here. So it, it, yeah. you, you, there's no confusion in this thing. It, right. it, 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 it makes it very plain. Now I'm going to keep going down. So further reading. The can you read number three? Could you read number three for the record, I, please, sir? I, I sure can. Number three Thanks, says... Sir. These three are not identical. They interact with one another and their identities are constituted uh, with respect Come to on. one another. Matthew 3, 16 uh, and 17, uh, 12, 32, Luke 3, 21, 12, all, all right there. All yeah, the scriptures yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, you could camp out right there, right there and have a really good understanding. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of yeah. The training. So, so, so watch this. Thing. I'm in the media section, right? So this is yeah. where it gives all the graphics and, you know, yeah. PowerPoints, whatever. Check out this graphic right here. The shield of the trend. You ever we seen this one? Seen we all seen that. Come on. You come seen on. it? Look, now, look, look. You, already got, you got a shower. You got a shower. You got a shower in the building. Loretta. <laughs> I see it. I see it. I see it. <laughs> Bro, all, all I do is click on it. It's all right there. Essential yeah. co, co equality, personal mm -hmm. distinctions, right? I'm just scrolling. All I did was click oh. on the picture. And all this information is, is right here. And mm -hmm. all I did was went to fat book, clicked on it, and all this is there. <clears throat> Let me go back on the left hand side. Sure. Key passages. Matthew 28, 19, Mark 1, there 10 through 12. There it is. Um, uh, where with John 17, 21 through 24, and so on. Um, save as a passage list. I can click this and it'll save it as a personalized yeah. list as yeah. it relates to the Trinity. So now that it's saved, I can always go back to it. So if I want to start doing some scriptural memorization or you know, come back to further study on the Trinity, it's always it, it, it's saved right. there. Yeah. Man. All right. Scrolling down. Dictionaries. 
theological journals, right? Sermons, just like we've seen before, books yeah. in your library, five, but, but dig deeper, more workflows. You know, it all I did was type in the word Trinity, and it all pulled up right that's there. It. That's it. That's, that, it. that's crazy. Yeah, you're that's saying, crazy. Man, what I do? Oh, I thought so. That's what I said. Sorry, I don't me. Oh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> you good? Uh, so, so, so those those of you who are watching in the chat, uh, let us know so far what you think about this presentation. What what has what has grabbed your attention? What has really got you to like, man? I didn't know all of this was in it. I tell you right now, I've, I've been using this again for about two decades, and I have I have yet to mine. And, and hit the bottom of of this program. I mean, you, and, you, and to be honest with you, nobody has. Yeah. N nobody. And matter of fact, Logos makes it makes sure that you will never hit bottom because because it's so rich and so deep of um, of, of resources and information that you you you. Will, I'm telling you, I, I, I've been. I, I can just be in my office and for hours just going through stuff and never realize how much time has passed. Uh, just by just just doing simple study uh, mm -hmm. before you can even if, I mean, a lot a lot of people think that that preaching and, and it's, it's by God's grace it definitely is definitely is a gift but God has given God has given us in the body of Christ men of God women of God who have done the work for for people like us to make our our job our responsibilities whether you are a pastor whether you're a Bible study uh, teacher whether you're a Sunday school teacher whether you're a parent single parent single person doesn't matter if you're a Christian. God does not want his people to be ignorant. Mm -hmm. He takes he takes he gets no glory in any of us being ignorant. He wants us to be informed, but he wants us to be equipped. And so you don't have to have a seminary degree to know how to rightly divide the word of God. But there's no excuse for any of us who have the spirit of God to be ignorant of the word of God. That's it. Well, Seiko, how about this? What if we jump into now? People are probably wondering, okay, well, how much does this cost? This this is awesome. Yeah. Um, you know, what I, I've been using the free version. Should I, you know, should I upgrade? Um, so let's 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 do that. Let's let's jump sure. into um looking at how this thing is how how it works in terms right. of um uh, going ahead and getting this thing. So yeah, yeah. what we have, give me a second here and go to um to PowerPoint. You guys see my um, PowerPoint yep. presentation says Logos yep. 10 is here. OK, yep. so I, I mentioned earlier that we have a range of options based on where someone is. And so what I'm going to do is just quickly walk through that so you can you can decide, OK, where do I fit on this kind of continuum? Sure. Bronze. Someone really just starting out with the Bible is what I would recommend. I mean, you you, know, you probably didn't even know what a commentary was until this to this webinar that bronze mm -hmm. might be for you. Right. Silver. Um, is where you start getting into the Greek and Hebrew and uh, the word studies. Gold, quite honestly, is where most people land. Gold is what we call our ministry library. So anyone who is in ministry, and I think we all are in ministry, if yeah. we're honest, we're all are in ministry. Yeah. But we we recommend the gold. With gold, you get all of the features that Logos has to offer. Right, platinum. If you're in seminary or you 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 look to go to seminary, you just want to do more academically based studies. We recommend platinum, diamonds for pastors. Portfolio is the the doctoral version, and the collector's version is kind of the granddaddy of them all. We jokingly say that if you get the collector's version, it'll tell you when Jesus is coming back. Coming back. <laughs> I say that tongue in cheek. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. To the so, to the second to the minute. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's how thorough <laughs> this program is. You get the collectors. Uh, yeah. It'll tell you that. Right? And so one of the things that you'll see here, it says up to 35 percent off. And actually, this sale uh, that I'm running tonight with, with you and your group, Seiko, actually doesn't start until April 1st. But uh, I kind of pull a few strings and we were able to go ahead and get it done today because it's up to 35 percent, meaning the higher the package you get. The, the higher the discount up to 35 percent. And I'll walk everyone through that in just a minute. Sure. So here's that monthly payment option. We're telling you about that. So I'll jump right in with the gold again. I think based on what I'm seeing and hearing from your followers and following you, that's why I'd start it with it with the gold. Someone can get, you know, bronze or silver if you want. No, no problem. You can do that. But with the gold, just to give you an idea, it's $50. It's $50 a month for 24 months. Mm -hmm. that, that, you, you just can't beat that right. right with the platinum 81 for 24 months 
and the pastoral version, a hundred dollars for 24 months. I mean, it just, to give you an idea of how good that 35%, and I hate to kind of get into salesman mode here, but we are talking pricing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the diamond version typically is about 140 a month. Mm -hmm. But because I was able to get that uh, discount in before it actually started, it drops it down 35%. So it is a hundred dollars for, for 24 months. Okay. Um, lifetime license. Someone asked that, you know, free training and support, uh, 30 day money back guarantee, but we know you'll, you'll, you'll like it. Yeah. And this discount in Sunday night at midnight, it, it ends Sunday night at midnight. After then it goes back to the, 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 uh, the regular prices. That's the special discount, because even if you go online, it's going to give you a discount, but the discount that I've uh, worked out with, with Seiko is that you you're getting an additional 5% that you don't get online. So right. to, to do that, you go to logos.com slash Seiko. And I'm going to show you uh, that site as well. Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay. Uh, let's go to, uh, let's go to logos.com slash Seiko. Where'd you go? I think you went off. Let's see if he comes back on. Everybody like, no, I need my I need my discount. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Let me see if he comes back on again. He'll be back on in just a second. But while we wait for while we wait for brother uh brother Chauncey, uh, let me know what you think in the in the chat. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh those who are those who are here, uh what what do you think about what you've seen, what you've heard? Um, you know, where where are you all with this uh with this with this presentation? What about you, James? I'll let you go first if you want to if you want to chime in or share your thoughts. I mean, I mean, I got I I've had um logos. I got logos. Um, uh, I got the silver though. Okay. And I have you know I have fundamentals. I had. I'm probably end up upgrading uh, to that diamond if uh, if Crystal let me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, hey, bro, start praying right now, bro. This this, this, this this Resurrection Sunday, hey, bro. You make anything can happen on Lord Re on Resurrection Sunday, bro. Anything can happen. Yeah. Bro. Anything can happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm waiting so, for him to yeah. come back in. I think I, he may have, may have dropped off. Uh, Nathan, you said I had gold before. Older version uh, looks like I will be upgrade. Yeah, and and just again, just when you think, man, you you've got it. It's like it's more. It's more. There you go, Chauncey. We we lost you, bro. Yeah, you, you had the present. Oh, this, okay, go ahead. You know, Satan didn't want us to do this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on. All right. So uh, I think what I was doing, I was going to uh, logos.com slash Seiko, I believe. Is right. What I was right. Doing, right. OK, yeah. let me go. Let me go and pull that back up because this is this is super, uh, okay. super important. So if you haven't already, again, logos.com slash Seiko and we share my screen. Let's go to <clears throat> this one over here. Boom. OK, so this is what it looks like. So at the bottom here, you have your gold, your platinum, your diamond. Um, all you have to do is click add it to your cart and it'll add it to your uh, to your cart. And then you just follow the prompts from there. So I'm going to just walk people through how to do that, because sometimes people get a little bit confused. So let's say you want to go ahead and get you want to go ahead and get gold tonight. So you click add to cart. Now, you see here, it says if you want to pay it in full, it's uh, 1084. Or if you want to make those monthly payments I was talking about. Uh, you just click that and then you drop down you see it maxes out at 15 months for gold mm -hmm. to get that $50 gold discount where it's $50 a month. You have to email me and I have to do that manually for you. All the other ones, you can just do it online. And so I put my contact information in the chat. So if you want that gold at $50, just just message me and I'll make sure you know you get it. But this is how you do it. And it automatically adds all the coupon codes like the code. The code here is Woods New 24. So if you are a new customer, it automatically puts in the correct coupon code. All right. So the other thing that I need to show you is you get to it here in a second is the uh, how the discount breaks down. Because like I said earlier, you get a higher discount if you're buying a one of the higher packages. All right. And so. Let me 
There we go. All right. If you want to take a screenshot on this, uh, yeah. good. If, if you could, yeah. Yeah. because uh, I don't want to be confusing. So we have the various options here. For if, you, if you're buying logos for the first time, you're buying it for the first time, you get a 25% discount if you're getting the, the starter bronze or the silver version. Mm -hmm. If you're getting gold, it's 30% off. That's how you get that $50. If you're doing diamond portfolio or collectors, you're getting 35 percent off. That's for a first time person. You've never uh, purchased it before. That's your discount structure. If you're upgrading, you already have logos and so you're upgrading. Right. You get 25 percent on silver and, and bronze. You get 30 percent on gold and 35 percent on diamond and portfolio. So if you already have logos 10, I think Nathan, I believe, said he already had logos 10 and you know, say he had gold hypothetically, but he wants to now get diamond. Well, if that's the case, you already have 10, your discounts are 20%, 25% and 30%, mm -hmm. all right? So in order to get these discounts, you just go to that landing page, just go to logos.com slash Seiko and it'll automatically put the codes in for you. So if you already have logos though, just make sure you're logged into your account on logos.com slash Seiko. Just be logged into your account. What I mean by that up here in the top right, you just click sign in, log into your right. account so Logos can automatically calculate the, the correct discount for you. Right. Because once you have Logos and you upgrade, you get credit for this, the, this, the books that you already have. So you don't pay for those books all over again. You just pay for the new stuff to you. And so Logos does all that calculation or calculating for you. Um and so if you own, someone says, I only have the free version, that's version nine. Well, we have a free version of 10, too. So it's possible that you have the free, but you get a very small fraction of all the features that you get uh, versus the paid version. So you might get like one free Bible on the free version, but on the paid version, you get like 18 Bibles. You know, you might get one commentary on the free version. On the paid version, like I said, Diamond, you're getting 600. And a lot of the features that you saw tonight, most of the features you saw tonight are not on the free version of Logos 10. You have to have a paid version for that. So that's how you get it. And logos.com slash Seiko. Uh, take a picture of this screenshot right here uh, just so you can see what the discount is and the, and the coupon code. So I'm going to go ahead and put my email address in yeah, the chat please. if that's OK. Yeah, please. And, and this, uh, this presentation will also be uh, on my YouTube channel. Once we once we're done with this uh, live presentation, I'll post this on the YouTube channel. And again, the expiration, the deadline is Sunday. Is that correct? Charles? That's Sunday. That's correct. What, That's what, correct. what time it, is what time? You know how you know how some folks do. They wait till the last <laughs> minute. In my eleven fifty nine, I brother Chauncey, but but past thing, I thought y'all, bro, ma'am. Yeah, it, it it is midnight Pacific time. Actually, <laughs> it's midnight Pacific time because right. Logos I, I, is based yeah. in Washington, so it's on Pacific time. So you get a couple extra hours for those of us on Central. Specifically Pacific. Specifically Pacific <laughs> time. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so my uh again my email address is chauncey.almond at logos.com. And I'm even gonna put my phone number up here. So feel free to, to shoot me a text if you run into any uh issues or have any additional questions. Uh yeah, there is 469-644-4813 and then chauncey.almond at logos.com. Okay. And uh and so again, Seiko, just to reiterate some of the things yeah. that you said, right? Please. There is there is no excuse anymore for not being able to dive into the word. Amen. You said, Hey, I didn't go to seminary, man. I, I'm I'm not well read. Okay, fine. That's that's fine. Get a program like Logos, do your searches, let Logos do the work for you in terms of finding the information. Now it's up to you. Just spend time in it. I've, I saw somebody say that they probably could be in, in logos for hours. Yeah. And that's going to happen. And that's oh, a yeah. good problem to have. Oh, that's yeah. a real good problem to have. Real talk. So that's, that's, that, that's, that's what I have for you, brother. And hopefully it was worthwhile. And uh, I'm here to hang out. If anybody has any more questions as well. Brother. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm glad we were able to do this again. This is the second presentation we have. I think the last one we had was it a year ago or two years ago. It might have been two years ago. Okay, okay. So it, it was time. It was time, you know, for it again. So again, uh, any, any any final questions, ladies and gentlemen, you may have in the chat. Please, if you have not uh, taken a screen a screenshot of that presentation of the discount codes, uh, you may want to get with somebody to do that again. But again, we will have this live presentation uh, re 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 aired again. I'll post it on my YouTube channel for those who may want to uh, uh, 
uh, watch this uh, material and the presentation. Maybe you're not sold on it yet. We're not trying to bribe anybody, but mm -hmm. we, we are we are trying to encourage and exhort those of you who, who have a desire to study the word of God and 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 log us again have these different plans and have these different packages for for those of you who understand and know we especially now we understand with inflation we know uh things are tight uh and so this is an investment i mean this is really an investment into yourself into your own spiritual growth edification and also for the uh building up and edification of the body of christ as well too so it's a win-win it's a win for you it's a win for those that you teach and disciple uh in in days and months and in years to come so uh, you would not be disappointed. I, I know for a fact I have it myself. I have not, I have not been disappointed by what I've used and have been uh, blessed. And so we just want to present this and give the blessing to those of you who are uh, wanting to grow in the word of God as well, too. So um, if there's not any questions, we want to take anybody else's time up. But again, brother, thank you, Brother Chauncey, again, for taking time out of your busy schedule, sir. Uh, as always, uh, making this a labor of love for the body of Christ, uh, Brother Nate. Uh, appreciate you, brother, brother James, my sister Michelle, and and brother Kenneth. He, he's grinding and out, but he's uh, listening and watching uh, out here. So we thank you all of you who are in the chat, uh, brother Dan, uh, Cheyenne. I hope that I'm, I'm saying the name correctly. Um, who else we have here? Just want to recognize and acknowledge some people, uh, brother Donald, sister Loretta. Uh, who else? Brother Proverbs and hey, anyone hey, else? Heart. Yeah, but Dave, uh, uh, see you all in here. So again, just thank, thank you all of you who are who are watching. Those who will be watching on the uh, on the re air. So just wanted to say thank you so much for that, brother. Chance's information is also in the chat, <clears throat> and um, and if you have any other questions, you can feel free to reach out to me, sakerwoods at yahoo .com, and uh, we will definitely uh, put you in the right direction. Again, the deadline for this for this for this uh, for this program for this uh, presentation is midnight at eleven fifty nine. 11:59 <laughs> p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you do it at midnight, listen. I'm, I'm trying to give y'all that one minute. That one minute. That, that's crucial. So yeah. but, the uh, website actually shuts down logos after midnight. Logos.com/slash/seiko. You'll get page does not exist. Literally. And, and look, and I didn't shut it down. Logos did. <laughs> so so govern yourselves accordingly, as the church folks used to say. All right. But anyway, that is my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much uh, for yours. Again, uh, we'll definitely uh, uh, do this again. Uh, this is information you can't you can't afford to miss, and and also you won't be disappointed if you if you get it. So anyway, thank you everybody for joining. That's my time. Thank you all so much for yours. Y'all know the drill. Whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. God bless. <laughs>